Hello, I thought it was time to take a look at Wahoo system. One half of Wahoo X sort of package of systems that they've got, the other half being RGT, which we've done our T2.5 elimination races on uh, and a few other rides. But I've never looked at Wahoo system, which is the training based and workouts and training plans. And I thought it was about time to have a look. I've not looked at this at all yet, so I'm going to be doing this live with you guys on this video. But uh, let stick me in one of the corners and we'll have a look. So the first thing you get when you log in then is welcome to system. You've taken the first step towards unlocking your potential as an athlete. I won't debate about what my potential as an athlete will be. Uh, whether you've got your sights set on the top of the podium or the top of the local climb, system will help you get there. I don't think I'll be achieving many podiums very soon. Now, I'm just going to blur this out because it's got a lot of my personal details on here. But you put your uh, your details in, basically, your date of birth, uh, your height, your weight, uh, FTP. So I need to put that in at what my last test was, which was 243, I think. Uh, it was very, very close to that, if not. Uh, and over the past six weeks, how much have you exercised? I do one, two, three, I guess three to six hours a week. We do three rides a week as part of the T2.5 group. And how much of that is at high tens intensity? Probably at max 25%. So everything else is in there correctly. Um, let's just read this bit of the pop. Your 4DP fitness profile. So... As I understand it, this is slightly different to just your FTP. It looks at different areas. So 4DP creates your comprehensive power profile that then tailors all of your workouts and training plans to your unique fitness level so you get the most out of the time you have to train. To get you started with an estimated 4DP, we need to know a little about you. So this information we're putting in here is to give us an idea about what we're like as a cyclist. And it says, to get the most accurate 4DP profile, you need to take one of our fitness tests, the half Monty or the full frontal. I have heard about the full frontal. It does not sound fun. It includes a 20 minute FTP test plus sprints and stuff. So we'll, maybe we'll see more about that as we go along, but let's continue. So it's setting up my profile now. And there we go, it's created. It all starts with a plan to help you get the most out of your free trial. That's what I'm... I'm still on a free trial, weirdly. Uh, we'll add the 14 day intro system training plan to your calendar. I don't really want to do the intro plan, so I'm gonna skip for now and see if that allows me to set up uh, one of the other plans. Uh, and it says, this is an advanced exercise program, never go beyond your comfort level. So it's kind of a disclaimer really, saying that uh, don't go too crazy. Uh, they're licensed for personal use only and gyms and studios can't use it. But uh, yeah, all the sort of T's and C's behind it. Let's carry on and confirm details and see what comes up. Okay, so that's just an introduction to the subscription, which I, I fully intend to do. I'm just still on the uh, the um, trial at the moment. But here we go. We What have we got in here then? Uh, we've got some stuff down the left hand side. Uh, we've got a plan. So there's find a plan is dead center in the middle because there's nothing planned for yesterday or tomorrow. Uh, and then there's some stuff in the middle which looks like just interesting things to read. So foot and ankle mobility, knowledge about performance risks, uh, how to get started with system, join the discussion. So there must be a forum. Uh, and basically, I guess, just useful information that you find at the time. And then on the left-hand side, we've got home, uh, which is this page calendar, which I assume will fill up with the the plan as you kind of put it in there and the idea that it's got for you. Library being here we go, big library. So we could do it by type. So they do plans for cycling, mental training. That's interesting. Running, strength, swimming, and yoga. And then you can explore by channel. So these are the different areas. So Sufferfest, GCN, Pro Rides. Uh, that sort of section as well. So let's have a quick look at cycling, see what's in here. 314 workouts. So this is one of those things that, and I find this with uh, RGT as well. If you, if you know the route that you're looking for, you can easily search for it and go and do it. I feel this is kind of similar because 
I guess there's some filters on here, but there's 314 workouts and I have no idea what I'd be looking for in terms of whether some of these, I don't, I don't know what activation is. I'm, I'm in no way a pro cyclist. So this is, this is very basic level for me. Um, has a fitness test in there. What are those? Those include, those are the two 4DP tests and the ramp test for the half Monty. Let's take that off. This is your 4DP focus. So you can select it by area. I don't know what any of those mean yet. NM, AC, MAP and FTP. Time. So you can filter it on length of time that you want to do your workout for. Uh, and then obviously, I guess you download it to your device when you've picked one. But as I said, unless you kind of know what you're looking for, I guess you don't really know what to look for. Let's just pick one. So you've got little symbols here. This must mean there's no video on that one. Let's pick one. I don't know, completely at random. It gives you a workout profile. So this this one in particular will be below my FTP for the whole workout, which is an hour and 43 minutes. Training stress score. I'm not very good at knowing what these are yet. 74, and it's an endurance-based ride, which basically focuses more on the FTP. Uh, and the film contains explicit language. Wow. So... Those, that's the library of stuff. Mental training, that would be interesting to do. I guess these are just videos about certain things. Let's go into the first one. Uh, I guess you start workout. What does this do? And yeah. Okay, so we get a video. That's quite cool. I like that. I'll finish that one for now and delete that. So a whole suite of videos designed around mental training with some filters in there as well for length and category positive think thinking um strong focus etc that's quite cool um i've never never thought of or seen the mental side of things included in uh, in a system like this before that is really good uh and then the other section is obviously the similar thing that i'm not going to be doing any running anytime soon swimming not going to be doing that strength so these are strength videos and exercises based around what looks like, or some of them have got equipment and that's got a band in, but a lot of it is body weight focused. That's quite cool. So I'm guessing what it does is, is you put together a plan and it sort of slots together a lot of these different areas for you. Uh, progress will be blank at the moment. So plans. So your workout profile has estimated values for optimum training stimulus. We recommend doing the full front tool prior to starting a plan. Um, let's before we dive into that, let's have a quick look at settings. So this is just telling me to to upgrade to the main system. There's some preferences in here. Uh, you can change to dark or light. There we go. I quite like the dark one. So we'll go back to dark. So you can change that if you don't like it. You can select whether you want your GPU acceleration on or off. So put pressure, uh, use your graphics card for to, to render all the graphics for you and download. Uh, we down optimize downloads for your internet quality. Okay. So I guess if you've not a particularly good uh, internet connection, you can uh, download them and do them that way. And then all of your connections you've got to things like Strava, I'm assuming. Okay. So that's interesting. I've had to reconnect Strava to system, but, but Strava is already connected to RGT. So they are treated as separate systems where you have to connect them. So I've connected Strava. I do have a Garmin watch. So I'm going to connect that too. Okay. So I've connected Garmin and Strava to my account. That's quite good. Right. Let's have a look. What's under more, uh, some help. Uh, and the forum and stuff in there as well, which I'm not going to look at right now, but let's let's have a look at setting out a plan. So you can choose your discipline then. So cycling, multi-sport, cross-training. Uh, so that is standalone plans for yoga, strength and mental training. A week with, uh, spend a week training with these famous Wahooligans. Uh, and the explore one 14 days showing the different types of content available. So let's go for cycling because that's what I do. What are you looking for? Choose a category that best describes your goals and training needs. So a new routine, low impact plans to help you establish a daily training routine, fitness test prep, which is a seven day plan 
to help you get the best results from your 4DP fitness tests, event prep, or general fitness. Um, well, I don't, I, I'm not new to everything. I'm new to the system, but I'm not new to necessarily cycling. Uh, and I don't, I'm not going to do a fitness test prep. I, or I haven't got an event coming up, so I guess I'm just going to pick general fitness. And what am I looking for? Uh, all purpose, which gives you plans to make you stronger and faster. Fitness Kickstarter to get you in, into cycling or new to structured training. Uh, kickstart your fitness with these six week plans. That might be good, quite good. Because uh, I have done training a little bit before, but I'm not particularly used to doing structured training. Building blocks. So focus on your specific metrics to create your own multi-month plan. Uh, with different three and four week blocks and then seasonal is for dial it down or ramp it up get ready for the next season so that's seasonal so i'm going to do i'm going to select a fitness kickstarter for now add yoga i i don't know no i'm not going to do any yoga let's be honest it'll probably be on there and i wouldn't do it i might try some of the videos of yoga at some point but not right now Mental health training, definitely. That would be really, really interesting. Schedule your plan. Uh, so my start date is, what date is it today? So that is that is picking to start on Monday. I'm actually going to pick this to start tomorrow. Let's do that. And let's preview the plan. Okay, quite a lot of information here then. So we've got, Cycling, general fitness, a fitness Kickstarter, it's six weeks long, uh, which is really good because I can get that in before my brother's wedding. Mental training is included. Uh, it's automatically put the strength intro in there. That's interesting. So there was no option about whether to include or not to include that. Uh, start date is starting tomorrow. The end date will be just before my brother's wedding. Uh, the first step in your journey to getting faster. If you're in need of any technical help, contact the health center so that's just useful links down there let's view the schedule okay so a lot of information on the screen to think about at the moment so what's it put in already so tomorrow is actually put in uh i've got the little symbols here as to what type of training we've got which you can see uh we've got that little mind which is, must be mind training the bike is obviously cycling and then strength training is this little man. I guess he's lifting something, but he's a bit smaller than my screen. Uh, and then you get a summary of your week about how much time you're spending doing what. So let's have a look at the first week, starting tomorrow, doing a 19 minute mind session, identifying your Mount Suffolandria, and then going into two rides. On Thursday is the igniter for 21 minutes and then it's put the uh, the half Monty rant test in on a Friday. Oh no. Okay, so it's not put the full Monty in, it's put the half Monty in there for me. And if I click on this, will it give me an idea about what it is? Okay, so the first training session it's put in is a 20 minute training session hitting all of the four DPs. I still don't know what those are yet. I wonder if there's something somewhere that can explain those. I'll have a look in a minute. Ramping up just over FTP and then some little sprint sections in there as well. Okay, that's quite cool. Uh, and then the full Monty is, is basically the ramp test. Um, let's see if we've got a bit more description down here. Recommended for newer riders. The half Monty is, fitness test is the most accurate and complete ramp test available. While it's not as comprehensive and as accurate as the main fitness test, it's far more approachable and easier to pace for new riders. It also doesn't require any specific uh, special preparation. You just need to be fresh. It also tells you more about who you are as an athlete. It provides you with an FTP, maximal aerobic power, which is the MAP, and cycling threshold heart rate, CTHR, all of which are used to personalize your workout targets. If you're still using 40B estimates in your account, it will give you, it will refine AC and NM estimates. If you want fully accurate AC and MM, as well as your rider type strength, weaknesses and training plans adjusted to those strengths and weaknesses, you'll need to expose yourself to the full frontal 
4dp test okay so this has put it in as i said when i selected it on one of the less um of uh, the basics beginner rider six week plan uh, and put it in at a level where i'm not i'm only doing the half monty and it's not doing the full monty and then it is adding in pretty beginner level stuff really and i guess that's kind of what i selected but I don't get the full range of doing the full Monty test uh, or the full frontal test uh, by where it tells me what type of rider I am. And I think that might be quite an interesting thing to do. Uh, I've not added this to the calendar. I guess I click up there to add it to the calendar. What does this do? Oh, that just changes it to a list. So this has put in one, two, three, four, five three sessions on the bike a week, one mind session and a strength on in the, the second week, the third week, three rides, one mind and a strength. So that's kind of the level it's looking at, uh, two strength on that week. So, okay, it's building up, but nothing, nothing north of an hour on there, two days break between those two, uh, and only a 36 minute, oh, mind you, I say only 36 minute, they could be pretty harsh, pretty harsh going, couldn't they? But that is the six week plan. And at the end, you do do the full frontal uh, 4DP test. Okay, so I've gone back to the training plans and I'm gonna select now an all purpose aim uh, as opposed to the building blocks. So maybe I think I'm a little bit more advanced. I'm not saying I am, but it'll be interesting to look at what sort of plans and things it comes up with. So the aim is all purpose here. And then a volume, how much time do you have to train? To be honest, that's an interesting question because it's quite difficult. If I did an hour a day, oh, I, I don't really know. Depends how long the training plans are. Let's go for moderate and just see what it puts in. Uh, the weekly work to rest ratio, three hard weeks followed by a rest week or two hard weeks followed by one rest week. I, I, I don't know the answer to that. I've never done a plan before. Let's see what it comes up if I did the three to one. Would you like to incorporate strength training into your plan? I think that would be quite interesting. Two, uh, I'm not strong at all. Add yoga. No, I don't want to be doing yoga, but definitely add mental health. So there's a lot more options in this now. Ask me if I want to include strength and what level I'm at. Uh, and then schedule to start from... Uh, the let's put in tomorrow i have already put in tomorrow's date but this one the plan goes on for a lot longer it goes on to the 13th of september let's preview that plan again all the same stuff that came up before let's view the schedule so you can clearly see already it's put a lot more things in it's still starting off tomorrow with a mind session but then on thursday it's put in a beginner's strength session plus a ride a ride on Friday uh, and then a ride on Saturday. So riding pretty much every day. When's the first non-ride day? Riding all the way through to Wednesday. But interestingly, on this plan, there is no test. One of the two tests, they're not on this plan. And it clearly goes on for a lot longer, a lot more intense but the rides still are in around about the hour. The longer rides, there's an endurance ride there for an hour and 30 minutes there. And then you're getting a half an hour ride here or there. So it's still not too bad. And then on, on the 13th, uh, on the last day of the plan, you do the full frontal test. Okay, so I've gone back to my original se selection. I've got a six week Kickstarter plan. As I said, six weeks before my break. Uh, I'm going to add that to my calendar and I guess that's all I do. Here we go then. So this is my calendar now. It looks exactly the same format as it did before. I've got the half Monty on Friday. Let's very quickly just go back to the home and see that now in this plan at the top. That's really, really good. Okay, so I found the Wahoo support page, which explains what 4DP is. Uh, interestingly, it's not really explained anywhere that i could find in system but it's on their on their website so four dimensional power uses four key performance metrics neuromuscular neuromuscular power 
maximal aerobic power, functional threshold power, and aerobic capacity. So that is in neuromuscular power is your sprint. Your maximal aerobic power is for climbing. FTP is for endurance and aerobic capacity is around is is your attack basically. So let's see if there's a little bit more description further down. NM is a five second power result represents a combination of your raw sprint power and muscular coordination it's based on your best five second power across both sprints. I'm guessing this is talking about the uh, the full frontal. Uh, sprinting is not the same as sprinting outside. You might be able to put out a bit more power on the open road. Okay. Aerobic capacity re represents your ability to deliver short, high intensity efforts, as well as your ability to recover from hard efforts. It's calculated as a result from your one minute effort at the end of the test. So yes, this is definitely talking about that full frontal test. And I guess these sections are built into that test. Maximal aerobic power is taken from a five minute section of the test and it shows your upper ceiling of a pa aerobic power production uh, and it's a key predictor of in, uh, endurance performance. And functional threshold power is taken from a 20 minute test. It's the test that we're all very, very used to, do, uh, to talking about uh, as people who, who cycle on Zwift and on uh, indoor trainers and things very much talking about FTP. So that is a description of what 4DP is. So I'm really excited about getting going on this plan. Six weeks leads me up perfectly to a break uh, where I get to do the full frontal 4DP test just before and give me an idea. Maybe the first fitness test, the um, the half Monty will give me an idea about that 4DP profile. Build on that for six weeks. And then at six weeks, I will do a full frontal proper test get my 4DP profile and then we can see what that means for future planning in terms of how it puts together specific training plans based around my ability. But I'm really looking forward to that. I think it could be good fun. And interestingly, it didn't ask how long I want to spend on the bike at all during this. It just, it was a basic assumption. This is the, the basic level and what you're going to go for. So some of those rides are relatively short. So uh, 22 minutes on the 30th with a strength endurance, but I'm guessing that's not going to be an easy ride. Not too bad, but it is just going to be a uh, a few of potentially shorter workouts than maybe I've done before, but a combined total over a course of time will obviously have an impact on my cycling. And also, I've struggled to stick to training plans before. This is going to be slightly easier because... They're not quite as long at the moment. So let's see how it goes. I'm, I'm looking forward to giving it a test and uh, yeah, should be good. Let's get back to talking about usual vloggy type stuff at the moment then. So as you know, I've been following a keto diet now for a number of weeks, well, over a couple of months. Very successful to, and, uh, to 21 pounds off so far, nearly up to two stone just on keto alone. And I haven't fallen off the wagon until the other night. And I did. We were in the shop. I'm going to be honest. We were in the shop getting dinner for my daughter. And she said, can I have a pizza? And I really wanted a pizza. So I had a pizza. And one of the things that worried me is about how for long term viewers of the channel will know that I've had issues with my stomach over a period of time before I started doing videos again. But for a couple of years, it really wasn't very good. I was a little bit worried about going back and eating and what it was going to do um, by eating carbohydrate and stuff. It was absolutely fine, which is good, which is the main thing. Um, my other question is how long would that kick me out of keto for? And I got uh, test strips, um, urine test strips to make sure or just test for ketones in your, in your, uh, in your body. And the next day, sure enough, I was kicked out of ketosis. But by the following day, so by Monday, I was back into ketosis again. So, you know, having a pizza and a little bit of dessert as well, sneak that one in there, um, it only knocked me out of ketosis for a day. And that's really interesting to me because I kind of thought there's going to be so much carbohydrate in a pizza. It's going to take me a good couple of days to get rid of it. And it didn't. I went up a little bit on the scales, but actually within the day it was back down to where it was before. So 
possibly not as much harm done as potentially there could have been. And that's, that leads me to the mental side of doing keto. And a lot of people, and we had a lot of comments on the videos about how keto doesn't work for varying different reasons. And I, I still argued that it does work because I've been very successful in my eyes over the last few weeks. And, but I can st still see the difficulty with sticking to it because I was, the thought we were in the shop and the thought of just getting more meat to have with green vegetables, which is either broccoli or mushrooms, which I know aren't green vegetables, but it's just that I can't eat that same thing again. And it does get a little bit samey. And I'd felt like that for probably the week, but stuck to it really well. Even going out and about and doing things I had, uh, except for that time. And I was like, I need to just get over this mental hurdle. So I had it and now I'm back on it. So let's see what effect that has on the scale on Thursday. I don't really know what it's going to do. Uh, I, hopefully I can continue to lose at least a little bit. And now we're back on the keto side of it as well. So that's my other plan. I'm talking about a training plan today, but also my plan for the wedding is to just try and drop as much as I can. And it, it's really kept me focused on it, actually. Who knows what I'll do when I get back from, from the wedding, but we'll see. Let's uh, talk slightly about riding as well. So tonight, today is Tuesday. Tonight I joined the Trundle. I really struggled tonight with, with anything in my legs. I I'm assuming that's nothing to do with having eaten some carbohydrate and flushing that out of my body. We did go to Legoland yesterday. I go I spend most of my life at Legoland. <laughs> but we went there yesterday uh and it was really really hot. So I was I was really dry. Normally I can walk around there no problem. Now that I've lost the weight and I'm a lot fitter. If I'd done that 2 years ago, you know, day out at a theme park would have been difficult, but I don't I don't feel that now where I go when I go, but I did yesterday. I got home and I was absolutely exhausted. It was a lot hotter than it was expected to be. Legoland was a lot busier than we expected it to be. It was, uh, my daughter was off school because it was a uh, an inset day given to the teachers because they missed out on the bank holiday for the Jubilee, even though they had the Jubilee day off. I, I don't fully understand it, but they got another day off school. So we thought we'll go there, it'll be nice and quiet. And it wasn't, so. <laughs> Yeah, it was a draining day, so maybe that had an impact on tonight's ride. I did the full loop, but stopped at 45 minutes because I was exhausted and I couldn't keep up with... We were in Mercury doing one of the all of the routes in Mercury. None of them are flat. And we got to the very bottom and the thought of pushing to climb up, I just didn't have it in my legs. I continued around on my, my own, completed the course, but yeah, that was, that was kind of me done in, after about 45 minutes. So... Hopefully I can get up tomorrow with a little bit more, I don't know, bounce in my step. I'm feeling a little, I need a kickstart again. I had a lot of good weeks of good performances in races. In fact, last Thursday was a really good race as well. Just feeling a little flat at the moment over the last couple of days. I don't know why that is, but hopefully that will, that will go away quite soon and we can crack on with the riding. Talking about riding, if you want to come to the T2.5 rides, all the information is in the description below, all the links to all the rides that we do on a regular basis. Uh, we do re varying different weekly rides. The best way though to keep make sure you're up to date with those is to join the Facebook group or the Discord channel. Again, links are in the description below. You can join the Zwift Club as well now if you want to join us on there. All the rides go up on there. We don't use the chat function too regularly, which is why Facebook and Discord are probably the best places to go. But as I said, all the information is in the description below. Thank you for watching this video. If you had liked it, do hit the like button and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.